effect number one, woman talking. <laughs> effect number 12, city traffic. <laughs> effect number 23, man swimming. <laughs> effect number 10, a baby crying. When you just walk down the street, there are so many subtle things that just most people don't even pay attention to. Human beings are wired instinctively to react to sound in an emotional, visceral way. So that's one thing that's really fascinating about sound is that it just provokes these emotions instinctively. So when I'm doing a mix, I like to edit and twist sounds to provoke emotions in the viewer. My name is JC Richardson, and I'm a sound designer. Once you get kind of in a rhythm, it's a magical place to be. And it's like time has no meaning, and you are just in the scene. So what I like to tell people is my workflow is all based on my laziness. And so I'm looking for the next thing that will make my life easier. So Soundly is a sound effect search engine that will catalog all your local sound effects files, but it also has this cloud component, which is all of their sound effects, and that is always being updated. And usually, I find myself going in the Soundly Pro library before I even search my local. Um, another good thing that they've added recently is the multi-user accounts. So it allows uh, Post House to collaborate within their facility. I have this idea, let me add this to my playlist, and then that will spawn someone else to go, oh, well, this would be cool, and that just boosts the creativity right there. A bit of our workflow is we do something called a radio play. The point of the radio play is to give as much information sonically as we can. So if you can hear it and it all makes sense, then we've done our job. And then we're just putting picture on top of it. And then the animatic is basically just a fully fleshed out idea of what we're going to be presenting uh, on screen. What JC does is he adds all his special spices to the, to the animatic. And then he just finishes off the 10%. All right, so I'm going to show you my typical workflow for what I do on an episode. And um, this one, Archer and this character, Ziegler, are going to be in an airplane dogfight. What I need to do first, uh, I'm going to add the bed. There's a sound effect called polar wind that fits in just perfectly, and it's got a lot of nice movement to it. A little bit of turbulence, OK? And then we're going to add just a bed of airplanes just to kind of fill it out. Um, so this is a combination of the just a regular biplane a Model T idling in a very rough idle, and a little bit of a Mack truck for that little bup, 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 bup. So you always feel like it's just on the verge of the wheels falling off. So um, we're gonna go, go to the acrobatics next. This one is a lot of layers of planes, and then these little punctuating moments where he's doing these little flips and stuff, because I have, I have the drone of it covered by that bed, so I don't have to cover the whole entire sequence. I just need to punctuate the high points in this. And then we've got some machine gun tracers here. So we've got Ziegler's gun. And then those little tracer ricochets. And I'm actually going to add one right there. As you can see here on the screen grab, I've got all the cloud stuff and all my local stuff. And what I have is in a favorites, I have command one set up for my archer favorites. So I'm gonna do Rico. And these are breakdowns of 10 tracks of stuff that I wanna just condense and just save for the future session. So let me see the audition this. Pretty good. So now that I spotted this file, it lives in my Pro Tools session. And for Premiere Pro guys, it, even if it's a cloud, uh, based sound effect. When you transfer it into your session, it lives in your local storage folder. Let's see where we are. Okay, that sounds a little active now for visually what it's gonna be, but in the context, 
Let's get the acrobatics and the bed in there. Okay, that sounds pretty good. And that is 15 seconds of an episode. So even in the time I've been doing sound design, it has changed so much. So each new piece of technology tries to solve a problem that existed before. And a lot of software tends to get in your way. That's taking me out of that whole creative process. And it had me think like a technician. Those two things can't really peacefully coexist if you are in, your, in the flow. I want things to be easy so I can focus on what really matters, and that's the sound. In sound, you can create people's emotions or twist them to be whatever you want, depending on your sound. But that's what makes it so beautiful.